Russia. Zero Hedge has reported just moments ago. Russia is deploying the largest naval force since the Cold War for Syria. Just moments ago, in the latest escalation involving Syria, the Russian aircraft carrier Knitsov was now sailing past Norway on its way to Syria. You heard me correctly, folks. I'm going to repeat that again because we we're talking about headlines matching biblical prophecy. The Russian aircraft carrier Knitsov was now sailing past Norway on its way to Syria. Now, I know that there's a presidential debate taking place right now. I know everybody's going to be talking about why nobody can keep their pants on. Everybody's acting like crazy idiots in these last days. But listen, to the saints and soldiers of the Most High, to those who understand the hour in which we're living in, we have to understand we're in the brink of war. It says here that this Russian aircraft carrier that's already done past sailed Norway and that's on its way to Syria, it is now expected to arrive in just under two weeks. As part of the carrier naval group, Russia also deployed an escort. An escort of seven other Russian ships, which is dubbed the most powerful Russian naval task force to sail in northern Europe since the year 2014. Now, this is according to Russia's uh, Gazeta Daily reports. Now, it turns out it was even bigger because according to NATO, and this is reported also by Reuters, Russia is deploying all of the northern fleet and much of the Baltic fleet in the largest. And listen, I'm not just being boombastic here. I'm not just trying to put all these adjectives out there to make it sound like it's bigger than what it is. No, it is big. It's just as big as what I'm saying. It's actually bigger. It's getting crazy, folks. It turns out, again, that Russia is deploying all of the northern fleet and much of the Baltic fleet in the largest surface deployment since the end of the Cold War. This is according to the diplomat who spoke on condition of anonymity to Reuters just today. He's quoted as stating the following, this is not a friendly port call. In two weeks, we will see a crescendo of air attacks on Aleppo as part, of Russia's as part of Russia's strategy to declare victory there. Now, Aleppo is part of Syria. Syria is in a heap of mess because ISIS strongholds have been taken over. The Kurdish forces continue to fight with very little help. An intensified air campaign in eastern Aleppo, where 275,000 people are currently trapped, would further worsen ties between Moscow and the West. According to the diplomat who added that with this assault, it should be enough to allow a Russian exit strategy if Moscow believes Assad is now stable enough to survive. Now, as reported earlier, photos of the vessels have been released by the Norwegian military. A Norwegian nor newspaper quoted the head of the Norwegian military intelligence service saying the ships involved will, and I quote, probably play a role in the deciding battle for Aleppo. Now, this is more than this, and as Reuters reported seconds ago, citing a NATO diplomat, Russia is in fact deploying, and I quote again, the largest naval force since end of Cold War to reinforce its Syria campaign. From Reuters, while there is little we can add to this, we did not just say in the previous, we want to remind readers what was the East, how the Eastern Mediterranean looked like in the summer of 2013. When the first escalation between Russia and the U.S. converted the sea off the Syrian coastline into a parking lot for warships. According to a report by the Norwegian military, which released pictures taken by surveillance aircraft, we know that the Knitsov, accompanied by a fleet of seven Russian warships, is currently on its way to Syria and is sailing in international waters off the coast again of Norway near Trondheim. Photos of the vessels, which include the aircraft carrier Admiral Knitsov and Pyotr Veliki battle cruiser, were taken near Andoina Island in northern Norway on Monday. As reported by Reuters, a spokesman for the Norwegian Military Intelligence Service said the country's armed forces frequently release such footage, while newspaper VG quoted General Morten Haga Lundi, head of the services, as saying the eight ships involved will, and I quote, probably play a role in the deciding battle for Aleppo.
According to Russia's TASS state news agency, the aircraft carrier would carry 15 SU-33 and MIG-29K jet fighters and over 10 KA-52K, KA-27, and 31 fighting helicopters. The naval group, which includes the carrier and escort of seven other Russian ships, is again the most powerful Russian naval task force to sail in northern Europe since the year 2014. Russia's Gazeta states that the carrier can carry more than 50 aircraft and its weapon systems include granite anti-ship cruise missiles. What are they getting prepared for? Next, in the flotilla in terms of firepower is a Russian nuclear power battle cruiser Peter the Great. Ain't that interesting? They titled it Peter the Great. I find that very prophetic because we have reported uh, in months past, I'll say definitely within the past year or year and a half, a prophecy from a priest from the Vatican so many decades ago that the last, um, the last pontiff, right now we know it's Pope Francis, but the last pope in the last days will be called Peter the Great. And here we have a a, a flotilla, a Russian nuclear-powered battle cruiser called Peter the Great. Friends, it's very telling as to the hour in which we're living in. Now, BBC adds that a Norwegian Lockheed P-3 Orion reconnaissance plane monitoring the force photographed the ships. MIG-29 full chrome jets and comeback helicopters were visible on the carrier's deck. The other Russian surface ships in the group are two large anti-submarine submarine warships, the Severmorsk and Vice Admiral Kolokov, and four support vessels. I actually have a picture here to show you. Hopefully it turns out that you guys can see it pretty decent. Several of the task force ships are also shown in this Norwegian photo. Folks, what is going on? There is a lot of activity coming from Russia. And is showing a very unstable Syria. Is showing an increase of tension between the West and Russia. It looks like they are getting ready for an all-out war. In light of these headlines, in light of Russia deploying the largest naval force since the Cold War for Syria, we have another headline that comes on the heels of this concerning the United States and the role that we are now playing in light of the current breaking news. The United States wants to deploy Marines 60 miles from Russia. I'm telling you folks, we're not getting headlines like this from mainstream media, but all this is happening in real time as you're tuning in live to open your eyes people right now. I'm going to repeat the headline again. United States wants to deploy Marines 60 miles from Russia. Classified Norwegian cave system hosts combat equipment for over 15,000 Marines. The United States wants to deploy Marines at a base in Norway only 60 miles from Russia. If the proposal is approved by the Norwegian government, a rotating force of 300 Marines would be deployed at Virnes, an air station confirmed in a, an air station located outside the city of Trondheim near the Russian border. The request was confirmed in a statement from the commanding officer of Marine Forces in Europe. He says, and I quote, We enjoy a very close relationship with the Norwegian Armed Forces, and a limited rotational presence in Norway would certainly enhance this relationship and our ability to operate together. This is according to Major General Neil E. Nelson, commander of the United States Marine Corps Forces Europe and Africa. He goes on to state the following, if approved by the Norwegian government, a Marine Corps presence in Norway will increase NATO's ability to rapidly aggregate and employ forces in Northern Europe. Why would they need to rapidly inf uh, you know, why would they need to rapidly employ forces in Northern Europe? It's because there is a distress of nations. There is a war that's about to take place. They are preparing for war, folks. A spokesman for the Norwegian Defense Ministry, Lars Jimble, said, and I quote, the United States is a long-term and close ally to Norway. U.S. participation in military exercises and training in Norway is one element in this long-standing and close security policy relationship. He goes on stating the following, 
considerations about how to tailor allied exercise activity in Norway is a continuous effort. A limited rotational U.S. Marine Corps presence in Norway is a possible option currently being considered. Even though dialogue has been ongoing at the military level, the process at the political level is still ongoing. They're making this sound like it's just another day in the neighborhood. It's not a big deal. It's just something they want to add in their training exercises. Listen, to deploy Marines 60 miles uh, away from the Russian border, it lets everybody know, especially the Kremlin, that they're getting ready for war. Open Your Eyes People is an end time publication broadcast with specific focus on the signs of the times, end of the age, the day of the Lord quickly approaching. This is Evangelist Anita Fuentes. Open Your Eyes People brings you the latest in breaking news world headlines, matching Bible prophecy. God said in Isaiah chapter 46 verses 9 through 10 that he declares the end from the beginning. Are we living in the last days? Is all that is happening been prophesied in the Bible? Are we the last generation? Are we headed for the greatest tribulation that the world has ever seen? These and many more questions are answered on the Spirit-led broadcast. With over 180 nations tuning in each week, it's no wonder God is using this broadcast to see hundreds come to salvation each week, rededicate their lives, and sharpen their walk in the narrow way. We need your help. We cannot do this alone. We need your help to keep and expand the work of this broadcast ministry to reach even more souls. The time is short and the day is dawning. Donate today, www.emof.org. That is www.emof.org. We need your donations. Visit us today.